One of my pastors said that the further you are from a problem, the simpler the solution appears. I'm gonna say that again. The further you are from a problem, the simpler the solution appears. The further I am from a problem, the simpler the solution appears. When there's a problem that's far away from my day-to-day -day life, Maybe it's a problem that has to do with things going on in another country, another group of people, another organization, another team, another social class, another family, or another family's children. The solutions always appear to be pretty simple. They should stop doing this, or start doing that, or keep doing this, or spend this way and not that way, or just be more patient, or ambitious, or organized. The further I am from the problem, the simpler the solution appears. But when there's a problem that hits much closer to home, the solutions aren't as simple. Maybe it's a problem that has to do with the country I live in, my group of friends, my organization, my team, my family, my children, myself. The solutions aren't always so simple. They're more complex. I can't just wave a magic wand and solve the problem. I know there's a lot more context, history, backstories, deep-rooted patterns, a lot more factors to consider and the solutions are way more complex. Take social justice, for example. I have a lot of my own ideas on how to make things right in our culture. If we only do this, then this wouldn't happen. If they only behaved this way, this person wouldn't feel left out. If everyone did exactly what I say, we'd have no problems. When I find myself coming up with super simple solutions to big problems, maybe that's telling me something about my awareness of the problem. Maybe it means I'm pretty far away from the problem. Maybe it's letting me know that I need to move closer to the problem to really understand what's happening. The truth is, all of us are limited in our capacity to understand every factor in every problem. But the good news is, the only one who can right this world isn't me or you. It's our Heavenly Father. Amos 5.24 says, But let justice roll on like a river, Righteousness like a never failing stream. Our God is the only one capable of letting justice roll like a river. He is the only source of righteousness that never fails. So, today I need to ask, am I relying on my sense of right or wrong, or am I going to the true source of justice and righteousness? What do you think? Leave a comment below.